We are banding Canada geese today. It's part of the work that the department does to manage migratory birds. I am the Migratory Bird Program Coordinator and across the state of Kentucky we band up to 10,000 birds every year. We band Canada geese every summer in late June to early July because the birds are flightless during that period. All birds molt their feathers. When their feathers get worn out, they have to molt, a new feather will grow in and then they can fly better. So each year they have to molt and replace their feathers. Well, geese, waterfowl specifically, will molt their feathers all at one time and the geese are flightless right now. So we take advantage of that. And so what we will do is we slowly circle the group. So we literally are corralling these geese just like you would a herd of cattle. Uh, I like to joke around and say, you give me enough people and I can put 200 geese in the back of a Corolla. They literally move just like cattle. It takes a lot of people, you work slowly. Uh, the fastest way to move geese is to work slow. If you start running at them, they're gonna run. If they start running, they're faster than you are. The trick is to make them think they want to go that direction and then get them to where the net is. That net will be used to hold them in a corral. And so we slowly go along, just nice and easy, everybody kind of slowly condensing on them and we'll push them to where we want them and then surround them with the net and hold them in that location. Let that one go, let that one go. Pass the net around, pass the net around, pass the net around. Once they're in that net, then we can pull them out one by one. Get this right there and just okay. squeeze hard. Good geese come with these perfect little handlebars on their back. So each, at the base of each wing is a big bone. It's just like our arm bone has a large bone. Geese have that as well. So those handlebars on the back, that's what you're after when you grab a goose. Once they're in that net, then we pull them out. We put a leg band on it and we send them on their way. We can get in and out of an area pretty fast and band 100 or 200 or 300 birds in, in an hour or less and we ban the birds as part of our obligation to the Mississippi Flyway. The reason we ban birds is because we want to know the impacts of things like hunting on these birds. And so by banning birds, we can figure out how many of these birds are actually killed by hunters. And every bird receives a unique number. And that unique number was only found on that one bird in the whole world. And so if a hunter shoots one, they can report that number and then we know, okay, that this bird has been killed by a hunter, it got hit by a car, it got whatever reason it died. We get this information and it helps us uh, monitor the populations. <laughs> this year, one of the things that we're doing is there's two different types of bands, silver aluminum bands and black bands. Half of our bands this year are Cerakoted. It's a process of put a coating on it to make some black. And that is part of a national study that's being done all over the Eastern United States. And we are looking at, is there a difference in harvest rates between black bands and silver bands? The idea behind banding is a banded bird represents the population. And so if a band makes it more likely to be killed, then that biases our data some. So this is a check just to make sure that people aren't targeting those bands in flight at a higher rate. We're banding today in multiple locations. When you ban birds, you want a representative sample of the geese that are in your state. So we banned all locations. All birds are susceptible to harvest. So a lot of people have this idea that city birds never leave the city. It's not true at all. Uh, and we learned that through banding. Everybody says, oh, Canada geese, they're here, they're residents. They don't go anywhere. They're not migratory. But that's not entirely true. We learned through this banding that we have maybe 20% of our Canada geese every summer will go to Hudson Bay or James Bay to spend the summer. But for us, the most important part is we have hunting seasons. And because we have hunting seasons, we have an obligation to make sure that what we're doing is not negatively impacting the population. And so that's what this banding does. It tells us how many birds we're harvesting and it allows us to know that, okay, we're within limits that are reasonable.